Hello, my name is Elizabeth Warren and I am the Goshen Scout Reservation Director. So for those who aren't familiar, the Goshen Scout Reservation is NCAC's premier summer camp experience. We house not one, not two, but five different summer camp experiences. We have three Scouts BSA adventuring camps, which are Camp Olmstead, Camp Marriott, and Camp Bowman. We have a Weeblos camp for Weeblos 1 and 2 Scouts, Camp Ross. And then we also have Lynn Hawks and High Adventure, which houses backpacking and canoeing tracks for older Scouts ages 13 and up. Because we have so many options at, at Goshen Scout Reservation, this is really a place for all people to be able to come and enjoy their scouting experiences. Whether that be their interest is more aligned with technology. We have the Booz Allen Hamilton Tech Center at Camp Olmstead where we're able to do rocketry, robotics, and digital design, including others. If you're more interested in trade skills, maybe you have some scouts who are going off to trade school after they you know, get their eagle or they, they bridge over and complete their scouting journey. We have the guild over at Camp Marriott where you're able to do blacksmithing, welding, automotive maintenance, and so much more. We also have opportunities for our first year scouts where they're able to get those initial uh, trainings and uh, merit badges that they need for um, you know, their first class, second class, even tenderfoot if they're newer to the program, as well as opportunities for older scouts, whether that be um, joining our VETS program, which gets to do high adventure opportunities for scouts all from Olmsted, Marriott, and Bowman. Uh, you can take part in COPE, which is our challenging outdoor personal experience um, setup, where it is high and low ropes courses. You get to soar on the giant swing. Um, and maybe jump off the picnic table into some arms that you're learning to trust. Uh, we also have a pretty extensive ATV program as well as a climbing program. Um, so there are things for everybody to enjoy at Ocean Scout Reservation and we really hope to see you this coming summer. I went to Goshen for the first time uh, at age 14. Uh, I still remember signing up for, to go to Camp Bowman again the same day that I registered for Scouts, I was registered for, for a week at Bowman. Uh, and I remember driving there, and it seemed to take forever, but also not long enough. Um, stepping out of the car, crammed with so many other Scouts, and looking at what would be my home for the rest of that week. And it was just a sea of pine forest and green canvas. Um, and I really haven't left since nearly a decade after. I began my scouting career in the Girl Scouts, where I earned my bronze, silver, and gold from kindergarten to my senior year of high school. When I was 12, I went to the Philmont Scout Ranch with my family, where my dad was doing Cubmaster training. Uh, we went to an info session uh, where they talked about venturing, and I said, I want to do that. <laughs> so that's the program for me. So the moment I turned 14, I found my local crew in Rockville, Maryland, joined up, and I was at the Goshen Scout Reservation the week after. At Goshen itself, I attended for camp at Camp Bowman for about three years, and then I joined the staff of the Hawks and High Adventure, where this will be my seventh summer um, at Goshen Total. My first summer, I was the caving assistant at Lynn Hawkson and then became the archery director, followed by two years as program director and two years as camp, dir camp director. But this will be my first as reservation director for all of Goshen. So as I mentioned, I've worked at the Goshen Scout Reservation for this will be my seventh summer, um, and it's just been my home for a really long time. I actually studied environmental science in college. I went to Dickinson College in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. And so after I graduated, I knew that I was looking for a position in the outdoor field, whether that be environmental science or outdoor education especially. Um, be the really cool person holding a bird at a nature center. Um, and I had a few meetings with Craig Poland, the former SCAD executive, because uh, he came down to visit Goshen every year and he suggested that I apply for this position which they knew would be opening the following fall. So I immediately scrambled and got together my resume and my cover letter and I just knew that again Goshen has been my home for many years and why not continue on that path. Well I think it's important to note that I am going to be the first female identifying individual in this position as a reservation director. So I like to look back at other strong female scouters who have really enhanced my career, um, starting as, as a scout myself in venturing. So, um, Nona Mapes, Lisa Pierce, and Lola Arjona were all people that were heavily influential in forming myself as a leader um, within Crew 27. 
Having been in a leadership position for out of the six years that I was at Lenhawks and for four of them, a huge thing that I learned is to remember that your staff are people. Um, and I think that applies to whether you are you know, a program director, a camp director, um, a manager at your local store, or even an SPL or a venturing president, patrol leader. You have to remember that the people that are following you, the people that you are leading, are people as well. Um, so when you're asking them, let's say you're on a track at Philmont, and you just have one more mile to go, and you're so close, but people are tired, or they're thirsty. Or maybe you're tired and thirsty. That means that you know, it's time to take a water break. I begin with finding activities that identify with your interests. So let's say that um, you take ballet class. Finding a dance studio or an opportunity to be on a team, that could even be you know, soccer, finding a travel team to be a part of. Um, finding ways to pursue that in extracurricular ways. So I knew that, of course, I really enjoy the outdoors. So scouting was a perfect place for me to continue that goal and passion. Um, from there, um, finding leadership positions within that role, as well as persevering and continuing for, you know, sometimes as long as it takes, um, is a great way to become a future leader in that industry.